Hello, welcome to Sheepdog Says. I'm Sheepdog and it's another very, very, very hot day. Um, I feel really, really, really old this week for a number of reasons. It's, uh, it's a little bit horrific when certain things happen to you. I mean, I'm only 32, coming on 33. One of my colleagues said that a higher number to me earlier and I was mortified, but we were discussing feeling old. He's starting to feel old as well. But um, the first thing that made me feel it was the baby wouldn't uh, settle yesterday. And I got out my phone and I thought, I know, this always settled lamp up. I'll play these songs from CBeebies. And at first it took me ages to find them. And then when I started playing this song that just popped into my head, that she used to find quite soothing, I realised that it was the CBeebies summer song 2009 and all of the presenters on it don't exist on TV anymore as far as I'm aware. If they do, they're considered like top-notch children's presenters whereas they're all rough starting out ones 10 years ago. Um, I showed Lamp up the video, she doesn't remember it. I tried showing her something like six videos and she didn't remember any of them. And then some of the other ones that I tried to find that didn't exist on the internet anymore. There was just stuff on there and I was thinking, she doesn't know what any of these are. She doesn't remember watching them every day. I mean, I remember the words still because we used to watch them like 10 times a day, every day. It'd be the routine. She'd be getting tired. I'd sit her on my lap. I'd put some videos on the screen and we'd just go through them and she'd sort of fall asleep. I did the same with Bosco and he doesn't remember any of them, although he did his annoying thing where he goes, oh, I remember that. And we're like, how does it go? And he goes, oh, I can't remember how it goes, but I remember it definitely. And he won't tell us that he uh, he doesn't remember it. Um, so then that that made me feel like, oh my God, so much time has passed. I need to get new stuff for, for the baby to listen to because he's just, he, I know his tastes aren't wrong because they, because it's 10 years old. He wasn't settling to it. But I, it made me realise I haven't got a clue what babies watch now. Everyone talks about Hey Dougie and the sticky, sticky, stick, stick song that he does. My sister showed me that because she's on her first kid. But when she's on her third kid in a decade's time, she'll be trying to show it Hey Dougie and it'll be laughing in her face because Hey Dougie's old hat and it'll know somehow. But that wasn't the only thing that made me feel old. One thing that made me feel ridiculously old was Kev was talking about his uh, Twitch stream the other day and promoting it to people. And I jokingly said, it's the World Cup. We could do what Smart Guy did during the Super Bowl and we could accidentally hack the network and put an advert on during halftime. It would get you millions of views, just like it did for his dad. Now, first of all, he didn't even acknowledge his message, which reminded me that he didn't grow up with Disney Channel on his telly, whereas I did. But... I went and found the clip on YouTube because I thought, I bet that's aged terribly. And oh my God, it had. For anyone who doesn't remember Smart Guy, it's uh, the girls who were in Sister Sister, their little brother did his own show on, on Disney Channel, where he was basically a kid with a ridiculously high IQ that had gone from preschool to secondary school because he was so clever. And every episode was just about how his intelligence got him into all sorts of hijinks. Um, and in this particular one, his dad's business was faltering, so he tries to invest in an advert. They ended up putting it on at 3 a.m. in the morning. So he goes and he complains. And while he's complaining, he hacks their system and puts it on at primetime Sunday, not realizing that primetime Sunday was during the Super Bowl. So then, 50 million people see his advert, he ends up getting in all sorts of trouble, but his dad makes loads of money. So I'm referencing this pop culture thing that isn't pop culture at all. It's like 20 years old when I saw it. That program hasn't been on TV since 1998. That is 20 years ago that it got cancelled, let alone when it first aired. Um, and that just made me feel sick. I was showing it to my kids and first off, he's hacking it on a computer where he's typing in basically like machine commands. It, I can't remember what you typed, like boot, disk, load or something. And he like said it out loud as he did it. So it was obviously fake TV Disney style hacking, but he was just like boot to disk load one, prime time, press play, stuck a CD in which I thought, okay, it was in CD here as he wasn't using a VCR. It's not that old. But even then I was like, I don't remember the last time I used a CD. Um, I reckon whenever, well, other than games, but they're on, they're on Blu-rays, it's not really the same thing. But uh, the last CD I think I ever used, I was using as a coaster or a Frisbee. I don't think I was using it to actually play music or play games. Um, I found a load of them in the cupboard with all different things written on them where there have been pictures saved from whatever. And I ended up binning a massive load of them. My bin was pretty much full of all these old CDs that like albums from random bands that I now have on Spotify. So, I mean, seeing that made me feel pretty old. But that's not even the worst thing that's happened this week. And I say worst thing, I don't want to sound insulting. Actually, a, f a really good thing happened today. Um, but it made me feel ancient as hell. Um, now, I was sat at work 
and we had a new guy starting and they'd mentioned he was coming in and everything and then whilst I was kind of sat around um, just you know getting on with my business he comes in talks to my boss and they nip in the boardroom for a conversation I didn't really think much of it I think I saw his face out the corner of my eye and I thought to myself I recognize him a little bit and then I just kind of shrugged it off as so he kind of looks like one of my relatives um, and just went about my business and then my boss comes out um, while he's having another conversation with, with, with another colleague and she was like I didn't realize he knew you and I'm like well, what are you talking about and she was just like apparently he went to your school and I'm thinking like my school like no he didn't because my school's in Essex and that would have been 25 years ago um, and then he came out and I saw him and I was just like oh my god it was a student that I taught when I was a teacher for that brief period in time they're now old enough that they can go out into the real world and do jobs in public and um that was just insane. It was mind blowing. It was really cathartic. So actually, I had a conversation with him about the fact that when I left, I left because I was ill at the the school, and um, I just left out of the blue, really randomly. I was I just was one day. I just had enough. I just felt really unwell, really run down. I had a chat with a doctor. He said you're not well. I had a chat with the union and just left out of the blue. And it always kind of niggled me in the back of my mind that. I never spoke to anyone at the school, didn't see any students out and about really that, that I'd speak to or whatever. But I had a chat with him, he was just like, yeah, we figured you didn't get on with the, the head of department there. We always thought you two didn't get on and we assumed that's why you left. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. I wasn't well, but that's the nuts and bolts of it. And then we just had a good chat about everything that happened while, I, while I'd gone, you know, how he'd got on. He told one of my colleagues that and I overheard in the background that when he was, when I was his teacher, I'd spoken to him and I was his mentor and I'd spoken to him about going to uni and that now he's at uni and he remembers that conversation well and all this. And that made me feel really like, oh, brilliant. But it was just really weird because all day, I mean, we had a good chat at lunchtime. We just sat there chatting about random teachers we he'd been taught by that I work with and stuff about them and he was asking questions. It was interesting telling him stuff that he perhaps didn't know as a student now as an adult and I can talk to him about that kind of thing. But it was just so bizarre, sat opposite him just chatting away and thinking, you're younger than pretty much everyone I know. He's closer to my daughter's age than he is to my age. Um, you know, it, it's it's insane. But no, I'm well happy with that. It was just one of those things where I just thought, it's closed a lot of uh, questions I had about just when I left my job or whatever. And it's just made me realise that that's going to get more and more weird. It's only going to be another three, four years till the year sevens that I saw us little babies coming into secondary school will be old enough to do the same thing as he's doing. Um, all the ones that were like year 11s, uh, sorry, year 13s when I was there, they're all left uni and gone into the real world now. And it's, it's just mad. But it'll be when my daughter's era of people all the people she goes to primary school with now and that when they start working that's when i feel really 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 old but um i've just had this i don't know it feels like every day now something's coming up i don't know what's going to come up tomorrow to make me feel old so i'll be calling me granddad or something i don't know it's just whatever next but no it's been a bit of a quick one i kind of ran out of uh stuff to say that's been nice and concise nine minutes but um no i just i just <sighs> time's going too quick it seems weird I said, I said the other day, it's been playing in my mind, I said the other day that my wife working to raise money for the nursery, I've realised that there's another 11 years that will be with it. And at the time, I felt like that seemed like a really, really long time and we'll be involved in that nursery for, for over a decade. But then I'm looking at it thinking, it's been a decade since I first listened to that that CBeebies song with a baby in my arms, thinking, what the heck am I going to do? It's been a decade since all of that stuff. It's been half a decade since I taught this guy that came into work today. Um, a decade's not long at all, frickin' heck. Um, I'm going to be 43 by the time he leaves uh, nursery and goes on to secondary school. And by that point, Lamp up will be old enough to have kids and send her kids there. I think I already said that, but... Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a midlife crisis if you're not that old, is it? Is it hopefully it's like a, a fifth life crisis. Is that a thing? Do people have... A midlife crisis when they're a fifth of the way through. I'm saying fifth because I'm just planning on living to be 150. That seems like a fair number. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. As I say, I ran out of stuff to say. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, let me know moments when you felt ridiculously old. Um, and no, I'm not, again, I've said this before and I don't want to insult people that are much older than me. Today I did do that. I, I absolutely put my foot in it. 
somebody said they were 45 and someone's like 45 you're 45 and i was like yeah he's ancient and he he's basically he's basically like retirement age he's, he's haggard he's old and she was like i'm three years older than you and i'm like oh, i wasn't talking to anyone i didn't say a word ignore me ignore me i didn't say anything um so yeah i guess i'm not as old as those people i know there's plenty of people watching who are much older than me but I feel like this is all life becomes now, just constant reminders that you've aged massively. Um, I think it's still weirder for him than it is for me, sat in a room with me just chatting nonsense and probably swearing a bit more than I did when I was a teacher. Because I noticed a lot midway through the day, I suddenly thought, I'm swearing a lot and I couldn't stop. It wasn't it wasn't purposefully. It was just because when you're in the middle of stuff that's a bit hard, sometimes just dropping a few swear words is fun um i don't know how i don't do it on the videos i must have done what 100 and this is 108 i don't know how i've got this far i even started putting uh no swear words in the in the uh tags now and again i'm when it's a family vlog thing um i reckon uh, yeah I'm, I'm if you knew me in the real world you'd be quite pleased with that i'm gonna wrap it up anyway because i keep rabbiting thanks for watching subscribe like comment all that stuff uh appreciate it I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you're having a good week. We're nearly over hump day. All that stuff. Um, yeah. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.